Good morning. Welcome to our devotional time this morning. Jesus is going to cleanse the temple. You know, what's, what's going on? Why the big show? What's he doing? Let's look at it. We're looking at Mark chapter 11, verses 15 to 19. Here's what it reads. So they came to Jerusalem. Then Jesus went into the temple and began to drive out those who bought and sold in the temple and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he would not allow anyone to carry wares through the temple. Then he taught them, then he taught, saying to them, Is it not written, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations? But you have made it a den of thieves. And the scribes and chief priests heard it, and sought how they might destroy him, for they feared him, because all the people were astonished at his teaching. When evening had come, he went out of the city. Now, this behavior seems quite out of place compared to Jesus, what we think of as Jesus' normal behavior. But not so, not so. Jesus is always very decidedly, as decidedly as, as can be, against sin. And he's, he's decidedly against it in this case, too. Now, the temple is supposed to be the center of God's plan to reconcile humans to him and, and humans to each other. It's supposed to be the center. And yet, what's been happening here is the place has been turned into just a, a common marketplace. Sure, it's still the temple. Sure, it still has its big stones and, and fancy trappings. But in effect, it's been reduced to a mere marketplace. They're selling the sacrifices and making a buck. It's, it's, it's egregious. It's so opposite God's plan to bring people and himself together. And now it's just a matter of uh, raking in some extra money here. So Jesus is, is truly, he's angry. He's, he's very, very, very unhappy and he's going to cleanse this temple. Remember, uh, one or two devotionals ago, he went, he had the triumphal entry, he comes into Jerusalem, and he goes into the temple, and, and then he leaves. He just turns around and leaves, because why? Because, because the temple had been made a big marketplace, and it was just nauseating to him, because the spiritual purpose has been so bent. So here's what we have now. And it was the religious authorities that had allowed it to come to this. Jesus is going to cleanse his temple, and he's going to surprise them. Look at their reaction now, then, when he cleanses the temple. Is there a contrition? Do they bow down and say, please forgive us, we're sorry, we didn't realize? You know, there's, there's nothing like that. Instead, they, they don't resist him. They cannot resist him, but they slink away to the side, and what do they do? Now they're going to plot how they can murder him. So this is what they're going to. You, he's coming and disrupting their... Uh, totally unholy use of the temple, and their response, let's murder the guy. While they're condemned by their irreverence and their inaction, remember, this isn't their temple. This is the Father's temple. Jesus is cleansing his Father's temple that they have desecrated. So, yes, he's, he's pretty animated here. And it's not that we're seeing a side of Jesus that should surprise us. God is holy, and he is cleansing his Father's holy temple. And he wants them to pick up the right line from this. And so he, he drives the market operations completely out of the temple. Amen and double amen. But what about a personal application? What's the lesson for us? Should we be surprised when we find that Jesus is strongly against sin? No, of course. We should be. That shows us we're on track. Jesus is strongly against sin. And in our lives, what is there that's in the way? What trafficking has been happening in our own personal experience that, that needs to go away. Jesus would like to cleanse our body temple. He would like to be with us and dwell with us. And you know, it's also true that we're living our life through a probation, uh, time of probation. We come to eventually to a time of test. It's just the way it is. We will be tested. Are we going to be ready on the day when we're tested? Are we going to be ready? So this is our opportunity to apply this to ourselves. What about our temple? What's out of place? What's going on that shouldn't be there? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for cleansing this temple. Thank you that we can apply this to our own spiritual walk. And we pray, Lord, please have mercy upon us and help us to see what needs to be cleansed from the temple. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask this. Amen.